Hi, welcome back to the Nourishing Roots channel where I'll be showing you how to love food, adore your body and become your authentic self. In this week's video, I'm going to be talking to you about recovery from eating disorders and how it definitely is possible to recover from any eating disorder no matter how bad or dark times may seem. Now to jump into this topic straight away, I'd just like to mention that I too suffered for a long time with anorexia nervosa for around 10 years. Now during that time, lots of medical health professionals and even family members told me that recovery, although it is kind of possible, it's never fully possible. In other words, they suggested that I always have a little voice at the back of my mind just telling me that I wasn't good enough or that I needed to control my food intake really rigidly. Now obviously fast forwarding on to the present moment, I can say with full confidence that they really weren't true. All those things that I'd been told about what recovery is really like for eating disorders wasn't true in the sense of, well, yes, it's difficult, but it's also the impossible is possible. And by that, I mean that getting over all of your fears around food and living a life to the full really is possible. And I know that because I have been in some really, really dark places. I've been in places where I didn't want to live anymore. I've been in positions where I've even tried to jump out of a car just to try and avoid eating. I've also been hospitalized several times. I think it's around five times as an inpatient and a couple of times as an outpatient. And you know, throughout those times, sometimes lasting up to months and months, I felt like there'd be absolutely no end to this negative cycle. I mean, don't get me wrong, some health professionals and family members and friends are really, really helpful and compassionate, but no matter what they said, there was a horrible dark voice with inside of me at that time just telling me I wasn't good enough to recover. Also, the eating disorder identity was just so oh, excruciatingly difficult to break away from. As much as many people with eating disorders do want to recover, it is really difficult and scary to try and break away from this whole identity that's consumed you for so, so long. Especially, as I've mentioned in a previous video, if your eating disorder functions as a way of you feeling safe and escaping the masses and masses of pressure that face most individuals in our modern society. So getting back to the main and crucial point of this video, I really need to assure anybody and everybody out there who's ever suffered from an eating disorder or has family or friends suffering from an eating disorder that it is fully possible to break free from all those horrible things that people go through during those horrible times. And things that you can get over involve, you know, getting rid of calorie counting, being able to go out for meals with your friends without feeling guilty, throwing away the rule book, going traveling, getting rid of fears and anxieties that are all caught up in eating disorder mentality, and ultimately finding the real you that's locked up inside. Because I can guarantee if you've ever had anorexia, bulimia, or adenose, which is eating disorder, none otherwise specified, or even orthorexia, an unhealthy obsession with healthy eating, that you've kind of lost a true sense of yourself. You might have felt like the old you has vanished and that you no longer enjoy things and that life is filled with fear rather than pleasure and joy and looking forward to things. And you know, that is really sad because life is about feeling happy and helping others and being compassionate and loving towards ourselves. But as we all know, if you've ever been in this position, you can feel as though self-love is taken away from you so ruthlessly that you feel like even beating yourself up to the point of like you filled your body with bruises because you hate yourself that much. But again, I want to reassure you that once you start to break down small barriers at a time with eating disorder recovery, you'll see this whole new light at the end of the tunnel and it becomes easier and easier to find the real you again. And getting involved in all those things you might have enjoyed when you were a child or even when you were a teenager, depending on what age you currently are. But rekindling love for life is definitely possible. And you know, the key thing that's helped me has been to really get involved in things that don't revolve around food. 
For me, volunteering has been massively helpful and also creative arts. I mean, I'm not the best artist in the world or even an artist, but just simply drawing and colouring in or for me getting back playing the piano has been hugely, hugely helpful to my mental health. And making that whole process of transition away from an eating disorder identity all that much more easier. So on a final note, this video is just all about me planting a seed of hope for you to say no matter how dark times may be or how difficult your eating disorder may seem or how sometimes you may feel as though life isn't worth living at all, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and that full recovery from any eating disorder is truly possible because at the end of the day you were put on this planet to fulfill a very important mission not to control your life through food but actually to love yourself and find amazing ways to help other people love themselves too. So finally if you'd like to find out more about my philosophy and nourishing roots and eating disorder recovery in general please visit my website at www.nourishingroots.com and you can also like this video, subscribe to this channel and see what other topics I cover such as living life to the very full. So on a really final note, have a great week and hopefully we'll see each other very soon. Goodbye.